curly mousse crochets. Today I'm going to show some things that I've been working on, some things I'm currently working on, some things I finished, and some things that I want to start working on. Um, the last time I was on, I was working on this pattern, the Horizon Cardigan. Uh, it's the Hexagon Cardigan from Hobie. And I finished it. So I'm going to get up and show you. So here it is. I really love the way it turned out. I really love the colors. I like the way it came out. You know, I matched it up pretty good so it looks the same on both sides and the back. I need to put some buttons. I was thinking of putting uh, maybe some blue buttons. I don't know if I should do big buttons or little buttons, but yeah, it's so cute. I like it. I like it. Anyway, yeah, I love it. I think it's so cute. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to wear it to church tomorrow. If it's not too cold in the morning, because I don't have a long sleeve like a white I think it looks good with white and with the jeans but I don't have a long sleeve I don't think I have something that would be warm enough it's been pretty chilly here where I live um in California where I live uh, I live kind of close to the mountains at the foothills of the San Bernardino mountains it's cold it's been cold and we might even get some snow next week which will be fun but I don't like the cold cold anymore I just want to stay in the house <laughs> and I don't like when it's hot either when it's hot I feel I don't feel good when it's hot so I can't win um so I've been digging around looking through all my stuff and I found I found this thing that I made I'm gonna show you this is a cardigan as well it's the broomstick lace cardigan you can't really see but look at all this uh, this was a lot of work and you know what though i don't like it i i've never worn it i've never finished it because i don't like how it looks on me i think my choice of yarn was the wrong choice I I used cotton cotton yarn so you know it doesn't have a nice drape and it's heavy and ugh, yeah I never finished it you guys it's it's sad this was a paid for video tutorial I'm trying to <laughs> I try to find the top okay here let me put it on I'll show you it's a paid for video tutorial pattern from there's a lot of strings I never see look at I never finished the sleeves because I gave up on it and <laughs> this sleeve is looser than this one I mean I could fix it but if I really wanted to but I just don't like it Let's see look I'll show you it was a lot of work and the stitches are beautiful and all of that, but I just don't, uh, I don't like it. It's hideous, right? Like, I don't like, <laughs> like, what is this? I don't like all of this in the back. It looks like a bustle. Like, if I was skinny, maybe if I was real skinny, it might look good. And then you can see the sleeve, like this sleeve's loose. Oh, look at my ugly arms. <clears throat> but yeah, what do I do with it? Maybe I, if I were to make it again, I would do it different. Like style it different, make it, just make it different. <laughs> I don't know. What are you gonna do? I tried. It's part of the learning process, right? You you make things and sometimes they come out and sometimes they don't. 
I'm glad I didn't spend a lot of money. Maybe that's how come I bought that cheaper yarn because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on yarn and then not like it or have it not come out good. That's why I like the video tutorial because I'm not that confident reading patterns. I think I am now. I think I've had a little bit more experience now, so I might be okay. Which brings me to the Make a Sweater Make Along that I ran across a video on YouTube, someone talking about joining in a make along to make a cardigan. So it's hosted by Olivia from Fiber Fun with Olivia and Ella at No Catchy Name. I'm looking at my my list. <laughs> I wrote it all down. Uh, Shannon Talks Yarn and Carrie from Happy Crafter Homemaker and Connie's Crafty Corner. Those are all people that I enjoy watching. And so, yeah, they're doing this Make Along 2023 Make a Sweater. And so, I mean, I made this sweater, but this, you know, I want to do something more challenging, a little bit more challenging for myself. So I'm trying to figure out which pattern. And I, I found this one. My daughter thought this was cute. So I might try to make this one for her. And this looks pretty easy. I mean, I should be able, I should be able to do it following the written pattern. Um, I don't know which yarn that I would make it with because she doesn't know what color she wants. <laughs> so, I mean, I do have some yarn that I was, that I bought to make myself a sweater. But, so maybe, I mean, I could make more than one. I'll make myself a blue one first. This, this yarn is the Kobu, Kobu Lion Brown. It's a number three weight. I showed this yarn on my channel before. Um, it is 57% cotton and 49% rayon from bamboo. So I don't know. Do you think that will be good with a sweater? I don't want it to come out like that other <laughs> one I made. So I have that one that I was thinking of making. And then I have another pattern that I bought. And it is... It's actually from the same designer that the bamboo, um, what do you call it, broomstick lace, that, that brown one that I was showing. Um, the website is stitchdiva.com and the designer is Jennifer Hansen. I bought this pattern. I'll show you from my laptop. This one. This one has the broomstick lace as well isn't that cute but i was reading over the pattern and i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to follow it i feel like i'm gonna get stuck i don't want to get stuck and it's a year long uh crochet along or make along so i have time to think about it we'll see I'll probably just go with the easier one. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Just do the easy one, right? Maybe I could do the other one on the side. See which one turns out better. <gasps> I'll do them both together at the same time. I don't know what I'm going to do. So there's that. And I'm super excited about joining into the um, to that make-along. It's going to be fun. I can't wait to see what the other people make. Okay, so, um, what else? I have a list. I'm looking at my list. I have a few things that I made. Once again, I was digging around. I, I never showed this little gingerbread man that I made uh, before Christmas. I made him and gave him to my little grandson. I made this out of velvet yarn. And the pattern... I think it was a free pattern but he's cute right run run as fast as you can because i do i'm the gingerbread man i made that and i made this little hat this was 
it's they already washed it and it has look at this it's not i guess i'm not so good at hiding my my ends look there's another one <laughs> doesn't look so good does it this is a ogo ogo uh yarn yeah i need to get better at hiding these ends look at that that just does not look good at all i mean I'm, they probably washed it a few times, so that's why it looks like that. And then I made this one. I made this one for <clears throat> my little grandson, Jedediah. When he's already grown out of it. I made that, and I made the blanket to go with it. This plaid blanket. This is a pattern from Daisy Farm Crafts. Isn't it cute? I love how it turned out. Super soft. Looks like the ends are doing okay. So I made that. And let's see what else. I made this one. This is a pattern was called Fruit Salad. And it is a throw blanket. It has lots of pretty colors. This is, I'm sure I just use regular, you know, and brown acrylic. I've had this for, I don't know how long, for a while. It's just double crochets and popcorn stitch. So rows of double crochet and rows of popcorn stitch. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Okay, I'm back. Hi, okay. I've tried to do this video, I don't know how many times, and I keep getting phone calls and saying silly things and stuttering and all kinds of nonsense. <laughs> So, okay, so that's all I have to show today. It's been kind of crazy. I have been running back and forth to the hospital to see my brother. My older brother uh, has, he's got, you know, adult onset diabetes and he's been sick with problems with his feet. And then, you know, he found out that he, his legs were all, one of his legs is more worse than the other it's clogged with plaque in his arteries in his legs and so he has you know a sore on his foot that won't heal he's been in the hospital they went in there and did surgery to clean out the arteries in his veins and then that didn't work so now they did a bypass they did a bypass in his leg for the arteries one of the arteries in his leg to get the blood flow to go to his feet and so i think he's doing better now um but you know the the hospital is an hour away from my house and of course you know my my mother wants to go see him so i take my mom to go see him of course i want to see him too he's my brother so i've been doing that it's been hectic and um you know just battling, trying not to get sick. The my couple of my grandkids have been sick, and then, and then we get it. Right now, my husband's sick. Uh, you know, with a sore throat, and uh, my little granddaughter had a temperature and everything the other day, and so we're just you know trying to keep healthy. And so I hope everyone else out there is doing well, and you're all healthy. Um, I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and for people following me and, uh, commenting. So if you like my video and you want to see more, please like and comment and subscribe. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, and God bless everybody.